NASCAR, competitive race car driving that has engaged the appetite of millions of fans worldwide. Thousands gather every year to experience the racing firsthand, but are you really entertained by a bunch of cars driving a continuous loop? Some would even refer to this NASCAR racing as a sport, but I beg to differ. A sport is defined as any competitive physical activity that is guided by established rules. First of all, just by the words physical activity, NASCAR has no chance for consideration. Seriously, they sit in a car and turn a wheel. They may need to be mentally strong in order to outthink their opponent, but the essence of any physical competition is non-existent. Ryan Butchin makes the argument that if NASCAR is a sport and a physical activity, then you should get a workout from driving, right? Yeah, driving doesn't cost you any physical strain, nor is it possible for you to get in shape by driving to work every day. But people might say that driving your car to work isn't the same because it's not competitive and you're not driving as fast. Well, if I race someone to work, then it should count as competitive, right? But the physical work that I should be enduring still ceases to exist. And if I should need to be driving faster for it to be considered a sport, does that mean that high school track isn't a sport because the athletes can't compete at the levels of those in the Olympics? And if NASCAR drivers need to be in shape, then it must be a miracle that the average American can still manage to drive to work every day. Which also brings us to my next point. Those who would refer to NASCAR being a sport would also make the argument that NASCAR drivers are athletes. An athlete is defined as anyone trained to contend in exercises requiring great physical agility and strength. I find it hard to believe that simply sitting in a hot car, making left turns, and pressing your foot down on a gas pedal for a couple of hours is enough to consider someone an athlete. From my perspective, I find it impossible that NASCAR driving requires any of the physical agility, strength, and endurance required for one to be considered an athlete. The extent of the training goes no further than driving and seeing how hard they can press that gas pedal. Let's be honest here. The physical capabilities of a driver have no direct effect on the outcome of a race. Because every car's engine can only reach a certain speed, how does the driver get any credit for being the fastest car to get around the track? But if you still aren't completely convinced, let's make some comparisons. Let's look at famous NASCAR driver Jimmy Johnson compared to NBA superstar LeBron James. They are both legendary competitors of their own game and obtain some of the highest skill level among their other competitors. But athletes are trained to contend in exercises requiring great physical agility and strength. To be able to play basketball at the NBA level, LeBron goes through rigorous training in order to be in the physical condition that enables him to continuously run up and down the court while taking the physical contact from other players and still being able to showcase his skills at their highest level. On the other hand, NASCAR driver Jimmy Johnson has to sit in a hot car and turn a wheel for a couple of hours? I really don't see how both of these guys could be put in the same category in any situation. NASCAR drivers are not athletes. Not only don't I consider NASCAR to be a sport or NASCAR drivers to be athletes, but I also consider them and what they do to be a bad influence. NASCAR racing has thrilled thousands of young adults everywhere, and many of them seek to be involved in the excitement firsthand. But this has unfortunately evolved into their own style of NASCAR driving, which is displayed on public roads throughout the U.S. and more famously, Japan. Widely known through the movie Fast and Furious, this new style of NASCAR driving is called illegal street racing. People have engaged in these races in order to showcase their fast rides and sweet skills. Not only is this street car racing against the law, but it has contributed to a great number of accidents and deaths every year. What kind of message is NASCAR sending out that would lead to the development of illegal street racing? And besides that, do you really want your children to be looking up at guys whose first reaction to a win is opening up a bottle? I do not see how these men and what they do are supposed to be inspiring and respected by fans everywhere. And so I conclude my argument. NASCAR is not a sport and the drivers require no physical capabilities or demands so it would have any significant impact on the outcome of a race. They have led to the creation of illegal streetcar racing and have failed as role models. So the next time you watch a NASCAR race, keep in mind that you're watching guys who aren't athletes compete in a competition that's not even considered a sport, drive around in a bunch of cars designed to make left turns. There is no purpose to NASCAR racing.